Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure DHCP reservation using Cisco Firepower 1120 Firepower Device Manager FDM. So I'm going to log in and then go to advanced configuration where you have the flex config, click view configuration and in flex config here i'm going to click on flex config object i'm going to create an object i'm going to call this my reservation and then you can describe it whichever one you can say um, computer reservation Whichever way you want to describe it. Now, the unique thing about the 1120 um, is that you have the templates and you have the naked templates. Basically, what it is basically saying is the command and then the command to uh, remove the command. So, what we were trying to say, for example, you know, in Cisco, if you want to shut down an interface, you say no shutdown, and if you want to negate that, you say shut down. So that's basically um, what is basically. So here, the command we're going to use to configure um, the ACP reservation, and then the command to negate that. So we're going to start with clear the ACPD binding or what this does is to basically um, clear any kind of DCP bindings that is already there. The next thing we're going to do is to say DHCPD reserve dash address, and then followed by the IP address that you want to reserve. Let's say you want to reserve 199, followed by the MAC address. Let's say the MAC address. Notice how notice how I'm writing the MAC address in four in a block of four and separated with the dots. Then the last thing that will follow is the interface name. The name if. If you know Firepower very well, you know that it uses what we call the name if, which is more like the alias of the interface. So you could have alias your interface like something like, um, let's say you label it phone, VLAN. And then let's say you want to create another one, you just say DCPD reserve dash address then let's say it's not in the same address block let's say it's a, it's a private address And then follow by the interface name. Let's see the interface name here. It's called LAN. And um, let's create another one. DHCPD reserve dash address. Let's have this in 192.168.100. Let's say this is 100.123. And then let's say the MAC address is. Um, Zero A B D zero zero C F four 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 eight, and then let's see. This is um. Let's say this is in um, a different VLAN. Let's call this VLAN four hundred. Now 
one thing about this is that the name if it's basically the name that you've described on your interface so you just need to be sure what the name if is so basically the name if could be any of these options here so next thing you're going to do is to negate all this so one thing about this object is that it allows you to negate them so what that does is that in case you need to remove this it basically will just use the negate command so the next thing you're going to do is to say dhcpd reserve sorry you're going to start with the no and then you're going to just copy what you have here no dhcpd and then you copy the first line and then you paste it there and then the next line go to the next line we'll start with a, a no as well now you might be wondering why did i start with the clear dhcpd i'm going to explain once i'm done with all this so i'm just going to copy this as well and paste it here and then do the last one and then i'm going to end it with claire dhcpd dhcpd binding call oh. so what this basically does is that it's um was it called clears the dcp binding after you've the reservation has been removed so remember this is called my reservation so we're going to click ok um, let's see this doesn't have to have a space i'm just going to use an underscore there click ok the next thing we're going to do is go to policy and then click add now in the add policy you can see this is a policy here um let me just uncheck this for okay so i'm going to click on this and then click ok so what you see is that this is a policy here you can see basically the policy is actually added here so if you click save it's basically going to actually be, <coughs> be here so basically what you have is the clear dcp d binding all and then you have your dcp reservation and then um, the next thing you do is to come to deployments and then deploy the change just click deploy the change um, then after that you're going to go to um, your what's it called you're going to go to your ssh <clears throat> you need to ssh into you, um, your device and then you're going to check the dcp um, by using a show run uh, show run and then you put a pipe and then you type include dcp that will show you your dcp and then that will basically uh, show you all this address has been reserved now please do not forget that if you're going to ssh into your uh, firepower you basically <coughs> will need to actually enable the <coughs> the advanced mode <coughs> which is basically um <coughs> uh, the command which basically <coughs> which will actually had in the comments uh, in the description section um which enable the diagnostic mode and um, allow, which allow you to actually enter, enter Cisco ASC uh, command. Um, so basically, this is just a step to actually um, reserve DCP. Uh, I know Cisco is actually working on uh, actually adding this to um, the GUI, but depending on the time they add it to the GUI, this is basically the way to reserve your DCP. Um, I hope this video has been very helpful. Thank you so much for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel so I can be um, bring you more of interesting videos such as this. Thank you so much.